hello students uh, today we are going to start the chapter electricity and electricity chapters other name is also current electricity so you might have seen the you might have heard the word current like ocean currents so current means there is a flow of something and if it is current electricity that means there will be flow of something and that something is charge clear so now we know about charge because you have done in ninth class that uh, rutherford has explained uh, that nucleus is uh, inside nucleus is inside the atom and is present at the center and electrons revolve around the nucleus but his model got failed why his model got failed because he was not able to explain stability of the atom okay and afterwards neil bohr came and he told that electrons revolve around the nucleus and revolve in fixed orbits so what did he mean about fixed orbits he mean that electrons will revolve and they will revolve in the orbits of fixed energy and they if they have to go out of the atom they have to gain energy if they have to come to the lower state then it has to lose energy so that means if an atom is present and if an electron we want it to get free then if somehow we give energy to the electron then it can become free and that electron can show conduction so that means these electrons only can show conductivity not protons and neutrons which are present inside the nucleus because electrons are revolving around the nucleus and they can be free if they are given some sort of energy so we get to know that flow of charge means here the charge that flow is electron and if we talk about the conduction in electrolytes in that charges will be ions so in current electricity because in this chapter we will study about the conduction in conductors especially in wires or in metals that means we will study about the flow of electrons and if we will study about the flow of ions then it will be in the electrolytes but here we will focus only on, upon the flow of electrons and we will cover that how these electrons travel inside the conductor what makes them flow all these things we will cover in this chapter okay so now we will see that how these electrons flow what makes these electrons flow for example we have any conductor like i am a i am making a wire which is actually cylindrical in shape there are so many electrons and we already know this is a matter and we know this thing that particles of matter are constantly in motion that means these electrons are moving randomly here and there and are not constituting any current they are not constituting any current but if somehow we make these electron flow in a particular direction at that time current will be constituted now the question is that how can these electrons be made flow to flow in a particular direction so this thing will be done by a source that will be cell or a battery so a cell or a battery will make the electrons flow in one direction now the question is how so again i am making the conductor here the electrons are present and if we connect it to the cell or battery so this is positive terminal this is negative terminal now the electrons will start moving towards the positive terminal again there will be some collisions because millions of electrons are present inside the conductor so they will collide with each other and also there are positive ions present so there will be a lot of collision so electrons will not go directly they will have some drift velocity means along with the collisions they will 
move almost with the constant speed towards the positive terminal of the battery and this with that speed they will move towards this terminal and that speed or velocity is called drift velocity clear so now this cell is providing a kind of potential difference because we know the charges flow only when there is a potential difference here i want to give an analogy for example we have two containers which are connected like this and one is filled with water okay and one is not filled suppose there is some sort of stopper present now if we remove that stopper if we remove this stopper and then what will happen water will start flowing from higher pressure to lower pressure so this flow will take place till then when the concentration becomes same when the pressure is becomes same in both the containers so same thing happens here also the electrons will flow only when there will be some sort of potential difference clear so now what happens when a cell is connected for example this is cell here this is cathode and this is anode cathode is having like if we see the construction of cell here it is cathode it is anode cathode is having a lot of electrons and anode is having deficiency of electron okay so that is why electrons there there is a some sort of difference in the potentials because number of electrons are present at the cathode cathode is very high and there are no electrons present at the anode so when we connect it to some wire the electrons will start flowing okay so now at the cathode suppose one electron has started and it is flowing and will cover the whole circuit and it has to reach here till the positive terminal of the battery now it will see a lot of electrons present in the wire a lot of electrons number of electrons so what will happen when an electron will start its motion from here it will suffer a lot of force of repulsion for example here this is an electron and it has some electric field around it so when it will enter into its field it will experience a repulsion force and will be repelled in backward direction so what happens the electron is not able electron will not be able to move in forward direction then what happened here the electrolyte which is actually a chemical energy this chemical energy is being used that energy will be used and will move the electron in forward direction so that electron can move and will travel the whole circuit and will travel the positive terminal of the battery so in this way the electrons cover the whole part means the thing that i explained is that the the motion of electron is not easy it suffers a lot of collisions it suffer a lot of repulsive force but even then it is able to reach the positive terminal of the battery because chemical energy is continuously being used in doing work so my point is work so here work is continuously being done and that work is being done only because chemical energy is being converted into electrical energy so the amount of work that is being done to make an electron move from one point to another point within the electric circuit is actually called potential okay that is called potential so potential we de define it as work per unit charge so whenever there will there will be some difference in the concentration of electrons the electrons will flow and that electron flow will be uh, kept uh, will be kept by the chemical energy present inside the cell clear so now now we get to know about electric potential that means the cell or battery is continuously doing work to move the charge and that thing is electric potential so now also we can define electric current which is 
रेट ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ चार्ज और सिंपली वी कैन राइट चार्ज फ्लोइंग पर यूनिट टाइम ओके सो इट्स एक्सप्रेशन विल बी डब्ल्यू बाई क्यू एंड इट्स एस ए यूनिट विल बी जाउल बाई कूलम और सिंपली वी कैन से वोल्ट एंड इट्स एक्सप्रेशन विल बी क्यू बाई टी और इट्स एस ए यूनिट विल बी कूलम पर सेकेंड विच विल बी इक्वल टू एम्पियर सो नाउ यू मस्ट बी नोइंग द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल एंड इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इज सिंपली द फ्लो ऑफ चार्जिस एंड वॉट इज इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल इट इज द वर्क दैट इज कंटिन्यूसली बींग डन बाय द सोर्स सो दैट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कैन बी पुस्ड फर्दर अगेंस्ट दोज इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक फोर्स ऑफ रिपल्शन एंड कैन रीच द पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ द बैटरी बाई कम्प्लीटिंग द होल सर्किट ओके नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इट्स एक्सप्रेशन इज ऑल्सो वी एज दैट ऑफ पोटेंशियल नाउ वॉट हैपन वेन इलेक्ट वेन एनी इलेक्ट्रॉन विच स्टार्टेड इट इट्स मोशन फ्रॉम कैथोड रीच इज एट ए पॉइंट सो सम वर्क इज डन बाय दिस सोर्स ओके केमिकल एनर्जी इज बींग ट्रांसफर टू द इलेक्ट्रॉन सो लेट एस सपोज इट हैज डन सम वर्क एंड पोटेंशियल एट पॉइंट ए बी वी ए ओके एंड आफ्टर सम टाइम दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन हैज रीच दैट पॉइंट दिस सो लेट इट बी पॉइंट बी एंड हेयर ऑल्सो सम वर्क हैज बीन डन सो लेट द पोटेंशियल एट बी पॉइंट बी वी बी सो नाउ वी नो दैट वर्क इज ऑल्सो defined as force into distance so distance also matters here the distance covered by the electron is less here the distance covered by the electron is different that is why work done is also different so value of potential is also different so at every point the value of potential will be different so if we find the difference between potential at this point and this point and that value will be equal to potential difference and it is a scalar quantity so it doesn't matter if you are writing it as vb minus va or va minus vb and its unit will also be volt okay so potential difference is what is a difference in potential but difference in values of potential at two points and its si unit is also volt now we have done about electric current and electric potential i also explained you about the potential dif difference now we talk about the instruments instruments if we talk about electric current then the instrument that we use to measure electric current is ammeter and the instrument that we use to measure potential difference potential difference is voltmeter okay a meter is always connected in series voltmeter is always connected in parallel a meter must be having must be having very low resistance very low resistance and voltmeter must be having very high resistance and if we talk about ideal condition if we talk about ideal ideal ammeter then ideal ammeter must be having zero resistance and ideal voltmeter 
must be having infinite resistance okay bachcho so i will recapitulate everything that we have covered we have started with we have started with charges we have started with charges charges which are actually of two kinds positive and negative negative here we are talking about electrons that can flow because they are outside the nucleus protons cannot flow here i am not talking about ions so electrons can flow and if they will be given some sort of energy if the, these electrons can flow because electrons are already moving inside the conductor so if electrons will be given some sort of energy they can be made flow in a particular direction that thing is done by cell or a battery because cell or battery is already having some sort of potential difference here potential difference means the number of electron present on cathode and anode so this potential difference makes the electron flow from cathode to anode so when this electron flow it will cover the whole circuit and it will experience the force of repulsion so a work is continuously being done and that work per unit charge is expressed as electric potential so the value of work will be different at different points so value of potential will also be different at different points and the difference in values of potential is called potential difference and afterwards i have told you that the expression of current will be rate of flow of charge and finally i told you that the instrument that we use to measure potential difference is voltmeter which is always connected in parallel and the instrument that we use to measure electric current is ammeter that is always connected in series and the resistance of voltmeter should be very high and the resistance of ammeter should be very low and voltmeter should always be connected in parallel and ideal voltmeter should have infinite resistance ideal ammeter must be having zero resistance so this was all about today so we will meet in next class thank you very much